the cost of 100 vehicle each vehicle cost 200 rupees when it's reach to concern it is 220 what is the cost of 100 vehicle 100 into 200 is 20000 so when you are doing the problem good cent will be come to debit side stock reserve will come to credit side closing stock will come to credit side stock reserve will come to debit side whatever the difference come that is a sent by consignee to consignor i will repeat this is a consignee account what is the total sale 640000 lies with the consignee hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanya Called by name Dr. BSS, Professor in Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Aid College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Today, in this session, I am going to hand Financial Accounting to Second Semester, Unit 3, Session 3, in favor of consignment account. In the last session, I told you what is actually consignment means. Consignment is an agreement between the two parties. Who are the two parties? One is the consignor, another is the consignee. The agreement between the consignor and the consignee is called consignment. Then the question raises, who is consignor, who is consignee? Consignor is the owner and consignee is the agent. I will repeat, consignor is the owner and consignee is the agent. Agent will sell the goods on behalf of the consignor at the risk of the consignor for a commission. Who will send? Consignor will send the goods to consignee. Consignee will sell. Then what is the necessity of sending that? Assume that consignor is in my store. He wants to sell the article in Bangalore. So instead of opening the branch account, what he will do now, he will appoint an agent who is an expert in the particular field, who is called the consignee. He will sell the article on behalf of the consignor at the risk of the consignor for a commission. This is called your consignment account. So consignment is an agreement between the two parties. One is the consignor and one is the consignee. Uh, we'll move on to problem now. A of Bangalore, who is a consignor, consign 2000 vehicle to his agent B of Mysore, who is your consignee. At a cost of rupees 200, but invoice price was 220. The expense of consignor 4000 for insurance, 2000 for carriage and purchase means 6000 is expenses made by the consignor, which is a recurring expense. During classes, 100 vehicles were damaged and insurance company paid 80%. The expense of the consignee unloading 1000. Packing 1500, advertisement 3. This is the expenses made by consignee. He sold 1600 vehicle at rupee 400 per vehicle and commission at 10%. Advance given by consignee is 60,000. Prepay one consignment account, consignee account, abnormal loss. How many vehicle loss? 100 vehicle. You have to calculate abnormal loss. The once it reach to consignee, it becomes 220 before reaching the cost is 2000. We'll come back here. The cost of 100 vehicle, each vehicle cost 200 rupees. When it's reached to consignee, it is 220. What is the cost of 100 vehicle? 100 into 200 is 20,000. Add non recurring expense of the consignor. The total expenditure is 6000 for how many vehicle? 2000 you want for 100 vacant it comes to 300 totally it comes to 20300 80 percent received by the insurance company it works out 6240 abnormal loss is 4060 what are the calculation of closing star this is working note number two total vehicle 2000 minus vehicle last 100 difference is 1900 Minus vehicle sold 1600, unsold is 300. I will repeat the total vehicle is 2000, minus vehicle last is 100, balance is 1900, minus vehicle sold 1600, unsold is 300. Now this is only unit, now you have to go for a valuation. Value. 
so now the goods lie vehicle lies with the consignee when it's a consignee it is 220 but it is not reached it is called 200 consignee knows only value of 220 so 300 220 66000 add expense of the consignor 6000 for 2000 vehicle we want for 300 it works out 900 expense of the consignee only for 1900 vehicle because it's we to consignee only 1900 vehicle what is the cost 2500 you want for 300 395 total value unsold value is 67295 working note number 2 and 3 we make the sale how many units have been sold 1600 at rupee 400 it works out 6 lakh 40000 how much commission 10% means 64000 Stock. When the invoice price and the cost price is done, you have to calculate the stock reserve or loading. We say so. What's the real cost? Two hundred. But it sold at two twenty. How much more? Twenty. How many vehicles you are sending? Two thousand goods and two thousand. It is forty thousand. One stock reserve on goods and to branch. One stock reserve on closing stock. What's the loading on closing stock? How much unsold is three hundred? Is there? How much extra? Twenty. This is called sixty thousand. So while you are doing the problem, goods sent will be come to debit side. Stock reserve will come to credit side. Closing stock will come to credit side. Stock reserve will come to debit side. I will repeat. Goods sent to branch, that is goods sent to consignee, will come to debit side. Stock reserve will come to credit side. Closing stock on the credit side. Stock reserve on the debit side. We'll move on to solve the problem. Goods sent on consignment. How many vehicle? That is goods two thousand at two twenty. It is four lakh forty thousand. It's a invoice pay. What are the expense of the consignor? He who made this expenditure? Consignor for sake of sending the goods. Insurance four thousand. Carriage and purchase totally six thousand. This is the expense of the consignor. Then what are the expense of the consignee? One is unloading, one is packing, one advertisement. Totally five thousand five hundred is the expense of the consignee. He makes the sale for six lakh forty thousand. The closing stock already calculated sixty seven two ninety five. Abnormal loss. Total loss is twenty thousand three hundred. Stock reserve here. Actual cost is two hundred, but two twenty. How much more? Twenty twenty to two thousand. It works out. Forty thousand. Then loading on closing stock. We already calculated there. How much will come? Six thousand. Base account commission sixty four thousand. The total on the credit side it will work out seven lakh sixty seven five ninety five. The difference is two lakh forty six thousand ninety five. It is a profit to consignor. It is a profit to consignor. I will repeat. Good sent on consignment account. Two thousand vehicle at two twenty. It work out four lakh forty thousand. Expense of the consignor is six thousand. Expense of consignee is five thousand five hundred. It makes the sale six lakh forty thousand by closing stock sixty seven two ninety five by abnormal loss twenty thousand three hundred. Stock reserve on good sent forty thousand. Come back here. This is the expense of the consignee. This is a stock reserve or loading on the closing stock commission on six lakh forty thousand ten percent work out sixty four thousand difference is two lakh forty six thousand ninety five. Then move on to consignee. When you make the sale, the entire amount six lakh forty thousand lies with the consignee. He he will deduct his advance, deduct his expenses, deduct his commission. Whatever the difference come, that is sent by consignee to consignor. I will repeat: this is a consignee account. What is the total sale? Six lakh forty thousand lies with the consignee. He will deduct his advance, deduct his expenditure, deduct his commission. Whatever the balance come, this is a balance sent by consignee to consignor. Hope you understand. Then. Abnormal loss. The total loss. How abnormal loss account it are to consignment account. Total loss is twenty thousand three hundred. How much recovered from insurance company? Sixteen thousand two forty. The difference is four thousand sixty. This will go to profit and loss account. I will repeat. 
the total loss is 20,300. How much recovered from insurance company? 16,240. Difference is 4,060. Good sent on consignment account. We sent by consignment 4,40,000. In that, how much extra is there? 40,000 we are showing. So, real trading account is only 4 lakh. Totally 4 lakh 40,000. Loading that extra is nothing but forty thousand. How much really going for trading is only four lakh. Hope you understand. This is a very easy problem. It will definitely comes from the examination of point of view. Exam is very very much near. Please student go through whatever we saw in the classroom and also you just refer the notes. We saw all the problem. So generally you select such a way that. The first year, especially first semester, second semester, what you have to do: one non-branch account, one non-consignment account. If you go through the branch account, it will come one for fifteen with invoice, fifteen months without invoice, ten months. One consignment account, one format will come of the consignment account sale format will come for five months. That may be asked for ten months now, and difference between the. Consignment and sale. That question is definitely they will ask from the examination point of view. So one on non-trading concern. So you select whatever you want. You select such a way that so easy is one on branch account, one on consignment account. I think this type of question they are going to ask. Hope you understand. We'll have one more session in the next one. In the next session, I will go through final accounts of non-trading concern. Till then, goodbye.